Hey guys and welcome and thank you for joining me for today's shave and thank you for your patience over the past several weeks while I have not been putting out new shaving videos. Um, I've been interviewing all over the country so uh, for those of you who don't know I'm an orthopedic surgery resident right now so uh, basically after high school I went to four years of medical school and I'm in my orthopedic surgery residency now which is five years and I'm in my fourth year right now and I'm applying for a one-year fellowship which happens after residency uh, where I'll, I'll be specializing in knee and hip replacements. Anyway, <clears throat> as part of the application procedure, I've been going on two to three interviews per week which means I've been flying all over the country, east coast, up and down the, uh, the west coast, um, you know, the midwest, just absolutely everywhere and uh, it's left me very, very little time for sleep and studying and being at work and spending time with my wife. So in times like this, you know, I just really had to prioritize some other things. I've really, really missed making these videos, so I'm really happy to be back today. Anyway, thank you all so much for your patience. I know there have been a lot of you who have been eagerly waiting this video. Thank you for your messages. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the words of encouragement to get back. Um, but anyway, I'm here now, excited to get going. So, just got out of the shower. Facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I have four days of facial hair growth today. So when I'm thinking about my shaves when I'm going into them, I kind of think about you know what I have going on in my face. You know, if I shave the day before, um, and I've been shaving very very consistently every day. Uh, my skin is usually like shave ready, uh, meaning that I can take a little bit more abuse. You know, I might go for a really really fine shave, um, you know, feather blade and a more aggressive razor, so I can get a really really close shave. For today, I have four days of facial hair growth. I haven't been shaving as consistently because. You know, the day of the interview, I might delay uh, shaving for a day or two. So right before the interview, I shave, cl clean up, pack up all my stuff, walk out the door, and go to the hospital to interview. Because uh, I think it looks good walking in with a really fresh shave. I think it shows that you take yourself professionally and seriously. I know that's not the standard. That's just the way I feel and the way I like to present myself. So anyway, I've not been shaving consistently every single day. Four days of facial hair growth. So I need something that will be gentle on my skin, but so is the power to take down um, the hair on my face. So I'm going to be using a, a new razor. I've shaved with it a couple times before. I was lucky enough to get a prototype from Razor Rock. This is the Razor Rock Game Changer. Look at this thing. It is just absolutely beautiful. Um, this is not the handle. I did not get a handle with it. This is the Edwin Jagger Kelvin handle. I just like it because it's got good grip on there and it's a shorter handle, which I prefer. I feel like I just get better control with the razor. Anyway, here it is. Awesome, awesome razor head. It's overall, I'd say medium aggressiveness, but something cool about here, uh, I think you can see his reliefs here on the bottom. There's two big ovals here, which are just huge paths I've noticed for lather and the shaved hairs to escape out through the safety bar. Uh, so I've just found this razor, I just kind of keep shaving with it because it's just clearing out of these big recesses in here and uh, it doesn't get clogged up that easily. So I thought that'd be great today since I have four days of facial hair growth. And since I haven't been shaving as consistently, um, I put a Voshkod blade in there. It's plenty sharp and it's also really, really smooth, which is what I want on my skin today. So that's what I'll be using for today's shave. A prototype Razor Rock Game Changer. Uh, I was lucky enough Joe sent me this uh, to try out and I said, you know, go ahead with production. You know, it gets my, uh, my full remarks. So anyway, got this razor for today. Uh, for today's shaving soap is one that I have used but not on camera. Tallow and Steel Boreal. Look at this packaging. Look how beautiful this is. Waterproof label. Um, and look at this background on here. Just absolutely incredible. So this is their boreal scent, which is uh, you know a coniferous forest. So coniferous forest has different type of really evergreen trees in there. You know redwood, cedar, spruce, you know pines, all of that kind of uh, stuff in there. So it just has a nice, well-rounded. It's not a straight pine scent in there. It has a whole forest kind of going in there. I know I spent a lot of time formulating this, and it really shows here. It's got that top note, you know, the first thing you're going to smell is the pine, but that's got some earthy, deeper tones in here. Beautiful scent. I really like that a lot. I like pine scented soap, so that's definitely a winner for me. Also, all the ingredients in here are organic. I get a lot of questions, people looking for an organic soap, and there really are not many of that producers uh, out there who are making all organic soaps. Tallow and steel, if you're looking for organic, natural stuff, definitely check them out. 
and that soap was blooming while I was in the shower. I'll just go do it right now. I'm gonna take the bloom water off the top of the puck and add it to my face. All right, there we go. And another new product I haven't used on video yet. This is the Parasso Shaving Crush made by Omega. Um, I saw this guy on Instagram using it, MD Thomas. I was like, that's a beautiful brush and I really like the overall dimensions of it. So I decided I'd pick one up. Uh, like I said, this is the Parasso Shaving Brush. It's made by Omega. You can see their brand there on the bottom. It has kind of their typical professional style uh, handle on here, but it's in this chrome. It's not real chrome, it's plastic. Just looks like chrome. Um, but one thing that's very different from Omega's typical professional brush that really holds me back about that brush, this has the same knot width on here, but the knot height is severely truncated, which I really like. The one thing I don't like about the professional, it's so tall, it's just floppy. I don't feel like I have great control of it. With the shorter knot height on here, this stuff is just such nice backbone, great control on the face. It's a big brush. I think this is 28 millimeters. I can't remember exactly, but that's a really big brush. Uh, diameter on here and you'll see the splay here on my face. It's big, but you can still control it. All right, I'm gonna add in a little bit of water. So I do a gentle twist and don't tug, but I just squeeze it to get out the extra water. All right, go ahead and load up. So since I've been using these tallow and steel soaps, I've noticed it's a very, very creamy lather, uh, so it can handle a lot of water in there, so that's all I'll be aiming for today. Uh, quick look at the ingredients on here. It's based in stearic acid, then organic glycerin, potassium hydroxide, tallow, which is organic and pasture-raised, essential oils, which is really nice and set fragrance oils, organic argan oil, organic pomegranate seed oil, organic macadamia nut oil, all these are organic. Coconut, avocado, castor oil, bentonite clay, tamanu oil, vitamin E, silk. Awesome. And these are handmade in Winnipeg, Canada. All right, that is gobs load up here. You can see the paciness between the bristles. Go ahead. Oh, I way overload here. That's all right. As the stallion says, load it like you hate it. So I can just add in more water uh, once I apply it here and get to the... Uh, the volume I want. That uh, pine's nice. There's like I'm getting pine and a little bit of like a mint in there. It might just be the pine. There's something earthy. It's it's a beautiful scent. I really do like that a lot. Alright, very, very dry lather right now. Need to add in some water. All right, I think that looks good. It's still a little thick, but it'll do just fine. Um, plus, in subsequent passes, I'll have water on my face, so it'll help uh, add more into the lather. But for the first pass, this is gonna be perfect. Give me lots of protection. You can see the creaminess of, of this. This is a great soap. It's really well made. It just, it lathers up immediately, and you can see it here. It just has that kind of like yogurty and sheen to it. It's beautiful. All right, Razor Rock Game Changer with a fresh Voshkod blade. First pass with the grain. Just gonna set my sideburns here, add my angle, and get going.
This razor really does not slow down when it gets filled up with lather and hair. Pretty impressive. I really, really like that on this razor. I'd say a shade is very similar. A um, little more aggressive than a 34C. A little bit. Establish that sideburn. Wow, I shaved off a ton there and this did not get clogged. Incredibly comfortable. You know, I've only used this razor a couple times. Uh, it, it does not have any weird angles. Certain razors, you'll know when you use one, they have certain weird tendencies, and they're not bad, just like all razors behave a little bit differently. As you guys know, I'm really cued in with the Mercor 34C. That's really the razor. It's my number one, and it's everything I... I can't judge all razors off of that, because I also learned to shave with that. That's my first safety razor. So, um, you know, razors that shave similarly to the 34C, like this one, I find very, very natural to use. And, you know, I'm used to tendencies of that razor, and this one does not have weird tendencies. And I think that the 34C is a very, very well-balanced razor, as is this one. Alright, first pass, feeling good. Got more work to do, but that was a good first pass. Good amount of slickness left behind from that soap. I keep some of that, keep some of that water on my face. So when I put it on the lather here, I just paint on after the first application. And I'll help thin it a little bit, make it a little slicker. I just don't think after the first pass you have to spend all the time working the lather back onto your face. You really need to do it the first pass because you're working it in between all those hairs and you want to get the lather in contact with your skin. But once you've already done that in the first pass and taken off all that layer of hair, the hairs are just so small here and so fine. I just paint on lather. It makes no difference to me spending the time working it on. So I just paint it on. I'm very happy with that. So that's what I recommend. All right, second pass, cross grain this direction. Incredibly comfortable on my neck. You guys know my neck is my most irritable area. It feels fantastic. Alright, 
second pass. Now that's getting smooth. Oh yeah, that feels great. Had a few little rough areas after that uh, first pass. This is feeling really good. Keep some water on my face. I didn't mention the size of the brush. Look at the splay there. Look at that. Ridiculous. I think I can go... Oh. Basically can get across my neck with one swipe. I like that. I'm making an absolute mess in here. There's lather everywhere. Oh well. That's why it's a shaving den. Alright. Third pass cross grain this direction. This razor also seems to have good audio feedback. Alright, so one thing I don't like about this razor is that the tabs of the blade don't hang out the side. Which was done intentionally, which is uh, something that a lot of guys like. I don't like it. And here's why. So you can see here that the tabs of the razor here don't stick out the side. They're in there, which is really nice. It gives it a really nice slick look, very modern look. I like it when the tabs hang out because in order to hide the tabs inside the razor head, you have to add more material here off the side of the razor from where the blade ends to the end of the metal. So what that does is because that extra material on there, if you're trying to shave underneath your nose. I have hairs that grow up really close here. There's still some there. I have to like go over it a couple times to make sure I get them all. I have to really stretch out my lip too to bring them down. I think I got them. Just takes a little bit more uh, intentional shaving to get those. Not a big deal. Just a small little style point that I don't prefer. It's just a preference, but most guys like it like that, so it doesn't really matter to me. All right. Three full passes. Oh, it's feeling great. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That feels way better. Neck. Excellent face. Feels very smooth. There's no areas that I missed. Got all those hairs. Chin feels great. I'm going to clean up my chin actually just a little bit. I think I could go back and forth just right here. So I'm going to go back to my brush, pull out the lather into my left hand. Look at that beautiful lather. Look at that. <laughs> Look how creamy that is. Look at that peak. It's amazing. Alright, so um, just applying it here. This stuff feels like lotion. I definitely made it pretty thick, so I just dipped my hand in some water here to work it in. There we go. That thinned it out enough. So I'm going to go across my chin. All right, now I'm gonna do something I've never done on camera before. Here are my cheeks. I've been working on going against the grain. Um, I've always struggled going against the grain, uh, but I've been working on it. I'm just keeping very, very light pressure and just go up. I kind of do a blade buff 
kind of style like this. And I've been able to get incredibly smooth shaves. I'm working on doing it across my entire face. Haven't done that yet, just kind of my, my cheeks and under my sideburns. It's been going great. No irritation and incredibly close. Against the grain is the real deal if you want to get the closest shave you possibly can. Left one here there. There we go. Alright. That feels great. Happy with that. And go ahead and get cleaned up. laundry day recently at my house and my normal towel got washed and now it's back over there. Anyway, I'll go back right up there. I'm done with this shave. All right. Oh yeah. Beautiful shave. Incredibly close. Feels great. And that was really, really comfortable. The razor did great. I love this thing. This is awesome. I definitely recommend the uh, Game Changer Razor Rock. Uh, that should be coming out soon if it's not already out. I think that um, they're working on getting it out. I think that there's currently like an email alert, something like that. Very, very close. Great post shave on the towel and steel. My skin feels really moisturized. It's a dead of winter right now. The weather's nasty outside and the air is very, very dry. So that feels great. I really like that. I just left behind a slight hint of pine. Not overpowering, I don't think it'd get in the way of many uh, aftershaves or colognes that you put on. Just nice, it smells clean. I really like that stuff. Tallow and steel soap, awesome. This shaving brush, awesome. The Parasso. And finally the post shave, which is gonna destroy me. The uh, fine snake bite. This is uh, unscented, hyper mentholated, and the menthol just kills me. So all it has in here, alcohol, water, menthol, and some isopropyl alcohol. And the menthol just is burning. It's so strong, it literally burns your skin. It's so cold. And it also makes me squint like crazy because it just irritates my eyes. But should feel good overall once it dies down. There's not much burning from the alcohol which tells me I got a really close shave without irritating my skin too much. And then here comes the menthol. Woo! All right, that's actually not too bad. Uh, uh, yeah, it's so cold, it burns, and it just makes me squint. It irritates my eyes, which goes away in a minute or two. But I'll be squinting for the rest of the video. I should do that sometime for a post-shave I should do like a fire and ice one where I use the fine snake bite and then the uh, captain's choice cat of nine tails which has some like pepper in there so it burns like crazy so you get the really cool and then the really uh, the really hot I don't know just an idea anyway thank you guys for your patience once again uh, while I've delayed making some new videos really happy to be back and uh, yeah, let me know if there's any products you want to see me using. I'll be using some of these more. I'm really happy with this shave. This was an excellent shave setup. A lot of new stuff here I haven't used in videos and uh, it was great to use it. it. Gave me an excellent result that I'm really happy with. And please stay tuned, more videos to come. And as always guys, thank you for watching.